My sister got me these for my birthday. Red Label Abrasives calls them non-woven surface conditioning belts. This three-pack assortment is about $25 on Amazon. The brown belt is coarse grit. Red Label describes the material as resin bonded aluminum oxide dispersed on open web nylon mesh fibers. The maroon belt is medium grit. And the blue belt is fine grit. The tape joint is bi-directional, so there is no arrow telling you which way the belt should be installed. Notice how much thicker these belts are compared with a standard sanding belt. I have read some reviews that claim these belts don't fit on certain 1x30 machines, and I think the extra thickness may be the problem. My machine is a when. When I installed the belt, I could hear something rubbing. The belt was rubbing on the tensioner pulley bolt. On my machine, this metric bolt and nylon lock nut act as a pivot pin for the tensioner pulley. It looked like the bolt head had been contacting the sanding belts from day one. I decided to turn the hex head into a button head. I could have probably accomplished this with a file, but this method was way more fun. I used a hacksaw to add a screwdriver slot. Here's the modified bolt head. I'm not sure if modifying or replacing the tensioner pivot bolt would solve clearance issues on every 1x30 sander, but it worked on my WEN. The other issue that came up in the reviews was that the belts were too tight for the motor to start. I also experienced this problem. I found that I had to give the belt a jump start to get it going. I had to jump start all three belts. My sander was able to intermittently get the fine grit blue belt going on its own. I verified that the table and platen were able to fit around the thicker belt. I chose this old screwdriver to test the belts out. The shaft and tip had an even coating of rust. The coarse brown belt ate through the rust very quickly. This is real-time footage with no cuts and no speed-ups. Here's the results of roughly 20 seconds with the course belt. I went ahead and increased the length of the test area and I did one side of the tip. Again, this is in real time.
Here's the shaft section again and the tip. The block of wood I used as my backer while working on the tip didn't show any unusual wear. I then moved on to the maroon medium grit belt. This time my machine started without needing a jump. Here's the test areas after the medium belt. I felt like the finish was similar to what I get with the fiber wheel. This time I had to give the blue fine grit belt a little bit of a jump start. The belts did give off some fibers during use. I think they were from the back of the belt. I think this will decrease as the belts wear in. Obviously wear a dust mask. Okay, here's the screwdriver after the blue belt. I was pretty happy with how fast the three belts were able to produce a near mirror finish. I think the red label conditioning belts performed very well. They were able to take the sample sections of the old screwdriver from patina to pretty very quickly. I had to make a minor modification to my WEN machine so that the thicker belts had enough clearance. Machines by different manufacturers may require similar modification. Having to give the belts a jump start is not a big issue for me. I think I've had this happen a couple of times with brand new sanding belts. Obviously you want to be careful when jump starting the belts. 
Don't let your fingers get into a position where they can get caught in the machine. I also wouldn't recommend turning on the machine and letting the motor struggle stalled without giving it a jump start. It can't be good for the motor. The final question for me is how long these belts last. At over $8 a belt, I need them to last a while for them to be worth it. Time will tell. I'll have to do a follow-up video after I've put some miles on them. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. The old screwdriver I chose as the test piece is a Stanley Herwood number 20. What do you think, Chuck? Should we finish restoring the screwdriver or throw it back in the pile? <coughs> of course we'll flitz it. Be sure to check out next week's video to see how this old screwdriver turns out.